Welcome to my channel, Ana Lana. Today we are going to learn how to do this practical scarf. And remember, if you look for me in YouTube, YouTube has me as Ana for Lana. And when you see this little cat, you can see there all my videos. And for the materials, we need straight needles, 10 millimeters, and medium size acrylic yarn, category number four. And before I begin, let me just tell you that this scarf is composed by two stitches. One is the jersey stitch, it's very plain, and the other one is the spike stitch. And that's why I'm using very thick needles because this stitch is a little bit dense. So with a wider, uh, with a big needle makes it looser. And now we are going to start with 38 points. And now we are going to start with row number one. So the first stitch, we just pass it. And then the next two points, I, I take them, I knit them. And then the first loop, I just let it go. And now the second loop and the third loop, I just take them, knit them. And the first loop, I just pass them. So it's kind of difficult to tell uh, by words, but just follow what you see. I take these two loops and then knit and then let go the first loop. And now you have again two loops, knit and then let go the first loop. So the description, another video detailing um, in a better way how to do the spike stitch is right here at the top. And I'm leaving it also at the bottom of the description box. So it's a short video and you can understand better uh, the, this type of a stitch, the spike stitch, and it will be very easy to make. So. So now I'm getting to the end of this row. And we just have three more, so I'm going to knit these two. Let go the first one, and now the next two loops. And then let go the first one, and now I have one more loop, and I will be just knitting it. Okay, so now we just did our first row. I turn the work, and I'm going to start with row number two. Then this is going to be the wrong side. And we are going to continue doing the, the same. First stitch we pass, and now the two next loops, I'm going to do a purl. And again, next two loops, a purl, but I'm going to drop the first loop. Next two loops, purl. You see? Next two loops. I just knit them as a pearl and let uh, drop the first loop. And we are going to continue uh, knitting a pearl, you know, in the wrong side, two by two and dropping one loop. All right, so it's the same theory than the first row. So now we turn the work and now we are in row number three. So this is a repetition of row number one. We take, we pass the first one and then take the next two loops and then we are going to knit and pass the first loop. Knit two loops and pass the first one, knit two and pass the first one. So we are going to continue doing the border for this scarf and you can do a total of three rows or five. Okay, so once I finish these three rows, or five if you want, because this is the border, I'm going to start doing a section of um, the jersey stitch. So I'm going to be knitting all this row, and this will be my row number one. Okay, turn the work and we'll continue with the next row and we will do, we'll be doing purl. 
and then after this we'll continue with knitting and then purl and this will be the jersey stitch until I get around 20 centimeters of jersey stitch and then I will do another section with the spike stitch and of about 10 centimeters. Okay, so after knitting several sections of spike stitch and jersey stitch, I have now a length of 138 centimeters, which is about 54 and a half inches. Now, this scarf is going to be for a young man, so it's not going to be very long, and the width. And you see that the spike stitch looks like um, a belt, but it's very nice. The width is about 19 centimeters, which is seven and a half inches. Of course, in the jersey portion, this will be wider, but um, that's usually the right width for the scarf, especially for men. So it's a very interesting combination of stitches. It gives a nice form. Um, a little bit different than the usual scarf that we see because it looks like it has a belt, right? But now, anyway, um, we just got to the point that we have enough length. And again, this is for a young adult, it's for a male. And now we are going to do the edge at the end. We are going to end up doing three more rows. And this time we are going to just finish it with the spike stitch because that's the way that we began with. So again, we are going to be knitting two by two, dropping the first loop of every pair of loops that we get. We got here two, we knit it, and we drop the first one. Two, we knit it, drop the first one. Okay, so now that I am done with the three rows of the spike stitch, so now we are going to be closing the scarf, but please do not close with large needles. I am here just giving you the example because this is what I did. And of course I have to redo it because I end up redoing everything. But let me just show you. Once you do this, it's going to look very wide. Yes. And it's going to be kind of loose. I did this and I needed to look very similar to the other side, but look, on the contrary, it looked wavy. So definitely is not the way to close that. So I figure out that if I do it with a crochet hook, it's going to be much better. So let's undo what we just did. And now take a crochet hook, and again, it's four millimeters. So then I'm going to be doing like a crochet. So pull the yarn and do the chain, pull and slip basically the stitch. So we just continue doing that and it will be closing it much better. And also towards the end of the row, uh, you can just start taking two by two or three by three, and then it's going to be narrowed. And now I just close it and I'm going to cut it. But look, it's very similar to the other side. Okay, so now we are going to cut it and we are going to be hiding all the ends using um, a tapestry needle. So that's going to be the end of this. Okay, my friends, so this is the end finally of this uh, wonderful scarf. Um, it's different, definitely has a different shape. It's not the usual rectangular shape of the scarves and you can do it in many colors. I did one, I made one in white and a little bit longer, so it's perfect for women. I, this one is shorter because it's for a man. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please give me a like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time in my channel, Analana. Thank you.